Welcome to class once again. I'm glad to be here. Now, if you can remember in our previous class, we started consumer development in Nigeria. I will start with Lord Lugard administration. I told you the composition of the government. But today we want to look at Clifford Constitution and Richard Constitution. But before we go into the lesson, I want us to look at the objective that is said to be achieved for today's lesson. Number one, we have to identify and discuss the composition of Clifford and Richard Constitution. Number two, we have to discuss the advantages of the two, uh, the two constitutions and we have to highlight and explain the disadvantages of the constitutions. Let's go into the lesson. Clifford Constitution. The Clifford Constitution came into being in 1922. Now, that's how it is referred to as Clifford Constitution of 1922. Now, Clifford Constitution had some peculiarities. But before we go to the peculiarities, let's quickly look at the composition of the Constitution. Legislative Council. The Legislative Council had 46 members. 46 members made up of the governors, 26 officials, and four elected members. Four elected members and 15 non-official members. Also, it continued what we refer to as divide and rule policy. The divide and rule policy started with Lord Lugard. Lord Lugard was in charge of the northern part of Nigeria directly, while the southern part was under the legislative body. All, all right, let's look at the executive council. The executive council was made up of 12 members, 12 members, there was no single African that was represented in the executive council. Now let's quickly go back to legislative council. One peculiarity about Clifford Constitution was that it introduced what we refer to as elective principles. Elective principle in the sense that elections were to be conducted in two major places in Nigeria, Lagos and Calabar. But this elective principle was a limited elective principle in the sense that it was a limited franchise. The people in Lagos or Calabar could only vote based on two conditions. The conditions were, number one, they must have reside in that place for a whole year and must earn at least 100 pounds before they could be allowed to vote. Also, People who were elected in Lagos were three, while in Calabar one. That made it four elected members. All right, let's continue. Richard Constitution. Now, the Richard Constitution also had legislative council. The legislative council had 40, 45 members. The governors inclusive and 28 non-official members and 17 official members. Now, it maintained the elective principle that was introduced by Clifford Constitution. That is, three from Lagos, one from Calabar. Also, executive council that was introduced by Richard Constitution was also the same as Clifford Constitution. But one peculiarity about Richard Constitution was that it introduced regionalism to Nigeria. It divided Nigeria into three regions, the east, the west, and the north, thereby laying the foundation for federalism in Nigeria. It laid the foundation of federalism in Nigeria. All right, in our Google Classroom, we shall be discussing the advantages and disadvantages of this constitution. I'll be waiting for you there. Thank you.